Hello, I'm Town Clerk Michael Palmer. The November 8th election is approaching very quickly and I am encouraging you to vote. Um, because the saying that I always use, your voice is your, your vote is your voice. So I'm encouraging you to go out and use that voice when you vote. There's quite a bit on the ballot this time. Uh, it's a state-wide uh, offices. Uh, Lieutenant Governor, Governor, Lieutenant Governor, they run together. Attorney General, Secretary of State, Treasurer, Auditor, Representative in Congress, Counselor, and then we have our own representative, Senators in General Court. Sue Moran is on there with an, with an opponent. opponent. Uh, David Vieira is also be on your ballot, and he also has an opponent. But Dylan Fernandes uh, does not have an opponent this time. So. There's also District Attorney, Sheriff, and County Commissioner on there. Uh, uh, we round out the offices on the front of the ballot with the uh, Barnesville County Assembly of Delegates and then the Regional School Committee for the Upper Cape Regional Technical High School. And there are four different towns that have representatives on the ballot and you were able to uh, vote for each one of those. On the back of the ballot this time, there are four questions. So remember to uh, flip over your ballot and read those questions and, and remember to vote them. Uh, for more information on the candidates that are on the ballot, you can go to our website, and there are sample ballots available on the website. Uh, you'll have three options to vote in this election. Um, as always, you will be able to vote in person at your polling location. The polling locations are open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. A second way which you'll be able to vote is voting early in person. And two weeks prior to the election, Early voting in person will be held here at Town Hall in the Old Water Department meeting room. Uh, the first week, the hours will be slightly different. They're going to be 10 to 2, Monday through Friday. Then we have some weekend hours that you'll be able to come in also to Town Hall, the Old Water Department meeting room. And then the week just prior to the election, uh, it'll be 8 to 4.30, all the hours that the, the clerk's office is open. The last day to vote early in person is going to be that Friday, which is uh, November 4th. Any more details about the actual schedule, please give the town clerk's uh, office a call or refer to our website and it has all the hours uh, listed for the weekends and during the week. The third way to vote is to vote by mail. The Secretary of the Commonwealth earlier in the year sent out postcards to all registered voters in the Commonwealth. And if you return that for the primary and check that you wanted to vote in November's election, you will be receiving a ballot also for November. If you did not receive that postcard or failed to return it, there are applications available, again, on our website, on the Secretary of the Commonwealth's website, and if you are uh, at the town clerk's office. We need an application with your signature on it before we can send a ballot out to you. All vote by mail ballots must be returned to the town clerk's office. Uh, if you choose to vote in person, you can still do that. Although if we have already received it back at the town clerk's office, you won't be allowed to do that. If you choose to vote on election day, please leave your ballot at home. When you go to the polling place, they will issue a, you, a, you a new ballot, uh, and you'll be allowed to vote at the polling place. Again, as I said, oh, the last day to, uh, one more thing, the last day to apply for an application for a vote by mail uh, ballot will be uh, November 1st. Uh, so as I said at the beginning, your voice is your vote, and will you be heard? Thanks and have a great day.